Good morning and a warm welcome to Barcelona and to the Azure Online Demo Launch hosted by TMB. My name is Gerardo Lerchundi, CEO of Transport Metropolitanes de Barcelona. Unfortunately, we cannot all be together today physically in Barcelona and the meeting must be virtual. But I hope that soon we will have the opportunity to meet personally in Barcelona and to see on site the advances in this technology. First of all, I would like to introduce you to who we are, what TMB is. TMB is the main public transport operator in Catalonia and operates in the metropolitan area of Barcelona, which integrates the main municipalities, including the city of Barcelona. TMB has two main public transport activities, so its bus and metro organizations. Both operate in an integrated way with a unique tariff system for all customers. TMB's fleet of buses consists of about 1,200 buses and more than 100 lines that serve the city of Barcelona and 10 other cities in, the, in its metropolitan area. Barcelona's bus network has been recently remodeled and is based on an orthogonal structure with horizontal and vertical lines. The metro network has eight lines, three of which are automatic, 160 stations and 157 trains. The metro network also serves Barcelona and the most populous municipalities in the metropolitan area. With more than 8,000 workers and more than 600 million annual travelers, TMB is the main of operator of Catalonia and Spain. TMB is very proud to be a partner in the European project Azure. In 2017, we as a consortium started with the vision of bringing electric mobility to our cities as a way of reducing air pollution, noise and traffic congestion and improving the quality of service of urban commercial fleets like public buses and delivery trucks and vans. The challenge ahead was making the interoperability of electrical buses charging a reality and Barcelona became one of the pioneering Azure demonstration cities testing this. We would like to thank the European Commission for the support along these years through funding programs and initiatives promoting innovation and sustainability in the transport sector. The deployment of more sustainable and greener fleets is a fundamental part of the European Commission's Clean Bus Deployment Initiative, of which TMB is a proud host city thanks to its remarkable expertise with electric buses. Therefore, I could not be prouder to say that during today's event, we will firsthand experience the interoperability between electric buses and chargers with panto up technology in real operation. During the hour, we will make a visit to the demo site and hear from the Azure partners about their role in the project and the strategies and technologies used in the project and for the demo. I am very proud to first introduce to you to Mauricio Maggiore, senior expert at the European Commission's Directorate General Research and Innovation. Mauricio, the floor is yours. Thank you to TMB and the coordinator VUB for inviting me to the Assure demonstration in Barcelona. Our director attended, if we can say so, the electric bus demonstration in Jöteborje, and it's great for me to hear, even though I cannot touch and see, of the progress achieved in Barcelona since then. The outcome of these activities on interoperable charging infrastructure for electric buses is particularly important as COVID-19 still challenges all of us, and in particular local authorities, public and private transport organizations. There are many challenges to be addressed in urban areas. Even though we have seen improvements, greenhouse emissions and quality of air are still significant concerns in Europe. Urban transport accounts for almost a quarter of CO2 emissions, while one third of EU citizens live in cities where concentration levels of pollutants are way above WHO recommendations, which are stricter than EU limits and pollution has been shown to correlate with the worse health impact of the virus. Public transport, with its constant crisscrossing of our cities, 
needs to play a strong role in the Commission Green Deal, giving a big contribution to stopping climate change and to the zero pollution strategy, both by reducing its own emissions, like in the case of electric buses, and by convincing more citizens to use it instead of private transportation. The European Commission has been pushing, even when European buses were not yet on the market, to speed up these flagship projects on electrifying heavy urban vehicles and their integration with fast charging infrastructure across Europe to achieve standardization and therefore full interoperability of systems. In fact, charging is one of the key technologies areas for the future and one of the areas where new jobs will be created more than offsetting any losses that might take place in other sectors. Fast and easy charging is fundamental for the user experience. And finally, for the success of the electrification strategy. This project results from the good cooperation between the Commission, the research community and industry within the European Green Vehicles Initiative. But we are concluding in these days the long discussions that will guarantee that such fruitful cooperation will continue in Horizon Europe with the 2.0 partnership the future initiative for green vehicles and related infrastructure. This will further strengthen the leadership of European industry with a competitive and integrated public transport offer to cities around the world. I'm sure UITP would be a great channel to spread the word and support environmental objectives within and beyond Europe. But that's not all of our funding for green road transport. Three more partnerships will develop the transport of the future. On one end, the battery partnership will specialize in putting Europe back on the map for advanced automotive cells. On the other, the hydrogen and fuel cell partnership will keep advancing both the fuel production and the key use cases like transport. And finally, a new partnership will take care of development and deployment of autonomous vehicle and their connection within an integrated ICT system. Electrification of urban transport vehicles, like electric buses and freight trucks, is also an opportunity to be exploited within the forthcoming mission on climate neutral cities, where there will be further opportunities to demonstrate new technology. Trucks will be one of the priorities in Horizon Europe. The situation of e trucks, in fact, is similar to the one we had a few years ago when we launched the first uh, topics on e-buses. EU manufacturers had uh, just a few prototypes when Asian corporations were putting products on the market in big numbers. For trucks today, the situation is a bit better since the deployment in Asia is not as massive yet as for buses at the time. But the fact that the first hydrogen trucks in Europe are coming from Korea should set many bells ringing, knowing that in the car market, the Koreans are second only to Tesla in terms of efficiency. We expect that hydrogen and battery trucks will compete on the long haul market, while electric ones will dominate the urban market. Also in this case, the work done in Assured on the shorter range segment of the truck market and on the specific charging solutions will come handy also in developing the green logistic and urban services of the future. The European Green Deal is President von der Leyen's top priority to put post-COVID Europe back on the tracks of growth while running towards being the first carbon neutral continent by 2050. Green research and innovation will be key to developing this clean future and delivering it to the next generation. And I look forward toward full market deployment of these technologies. After Jöteborg and Barcelona, we will have demos in Osnabrück and Eindhoven. And I wish you a great success for the deployment to other cities across Europe. Thank you, Mauricio, for your key input. It's great to hear from the Commission as catalysator of innovation and sustainability in the transport sector. 
about the key role of the public transport sector in contributing to stopping climate change, reducing emissions, and attracting more and more citizens to drop off their cars and shift to public transport. These goals lie at the heart of TMB, as well as to the heart of our next speaker. I welcome my friend Pera Calvet, president of UITP. Buenos días desde Barcelona. Como presidente de la UITP, es un placer participar en la presentación de un gran proyecto como es el proyecto Azure, del que la UITP forma parte. Y al mismo tiempo, que este proyecto tenga también como partner a la empresa TMB, que es un operador esencial en la movilidad de nuestra ciudad. Como ustedes saben, la UITP trabaja para que la movilidad urbana sea sostenible, mediante un trabajo experto y la implicación de socios como TMB. La UITP persigue el objetivo de alcanzar que nuestras ciudades sean más saludables y habitables mediante la promoción de un transporte público inclusivo y sostenible. El transporte público es esencial, no solo en estos tiempos de crisis. Es esencial para abordar los problemas ambientales globales que dejamos aparcados hace un año tras las reuniones de la COP25 en Madrid. El transporte público es la base de la movilidad diaria de los ciudadanos y de nuestra economía. Su necesidad es innegable. Por consiguiente, debemos asegurar su función mediante la utilización de tecnologías limpias que mejoren la calidad del aire e impulsen la calidad de vida urbana. En particular, la renovación de las flotas de autobuses es una de las claves para la descarbonización del transporte público, sea a través de tecnologías de emisión cero, como baterías y pilas de combustible, o a través de otras propuestas. Para ello, la UITP es impulsora de la transición hacia un transporte más ecológico mediante la utilización de tecnologías limpias y, en particular, en el caso que nos ocupa, en la promoción de la movilidad eléctrica de las flotas de autobuses urbanos, participando en iniciativas financiadas por la Unión Europea, como CEUS, Clean Bus Europe Platform y, por supuesto, Azure, con el partenariado de nuestros miembros y el trabajo de los comités de la UITP, de autobuses, de trolleybuses y de autoridades organizadoras. La clave ha sido el trabajo en equipo y Azure es un excelente ejemplo de ello. Este proyecto reúne 39 socios de 12 países, pertenecientes a la industria, a la universidad y a los operadores de transporte público de distintas ciudades, en un esfuerzo común hacia la interoperabilidad y la estandarización de la carga de autobuses eléctricos. Azure es una iniciativa clave para marcar el camino hacia la electrificación de las flotas urbanas, no solo de los autobuses de transporte público, sino también de los camiones y las furgonetas. En este proyecto, la UITP es el líder para las actividades de autobuses y hoy se presenta el trabajo de estandarización para la carga rápida de diversos autobuses mediante pantógrafo, trabajo realizado a pesar de las desafiantes circunstancias impuestas por la actual crisis sanitaria. Como líderes de la movilidad sostenible e impulsores de la innovación, PMB y Barcelona han tenido un rol importante en el desarrollo del proyecto, consiguiendo la electrificación del transporte urbano en autobús mediante nuevos tipos de vehículos e innovando en las infraestructuras de carga y gestión. Todo un desafío para promover tecnologías de carga avanzadas, eficientes y totalmente interoperables, proporcionando un servicio flexible a nuestros ciudadanos. Un proyecto al servicio de las ciudades y el medio ambiente que vamos a compartir a continuación. Thank you, Pera, and thank you, UITP. We, UITP and TMB, we have a very long history of a strong, fruitful cooperation, and I'm sure the challenges that lie ahead will only reinforce this cooperation. We head now off to the next part of, of our demo launch. First of all, I would like to briefly present TMB's strategy for renewable energy. TMB has worked hard in recent years to have a more sustainable fleet every day. It was one of the first companies to bet on natural gas and hybrid buses. This bet is already well established and now is the time to make a new step towards zero emissions technologies and zero environmental impact. Therefore, TMB's commitment is that all the renewal of its fleet must be done with clean vehicles, electricals, biogas, 
and hydrogen. By now, TMB has already tendered the first eight hydrogen buses and more than 200 new electric buses. The goal in the coming years is to reach 332 electric buses and 46 hydrogen buses with a renovation of more than 600 buses and an investment of more than 400 million euros. It's very important to understand that the electrification of buses is much more than the acquisition of new buses. It's a big project that affects to the operation of the public transport an impact in aspects like charging infrastructure, energy supply, IT and communication systems, battery technology and technical service also. We are implementing different ways of charging, depot charging and opportunity charging. We will install them in three depots and initially in the street in three electrified lines. In 2021, we will have the first three electric lines completely implemented with opportunity charging with 59 buses, 54 kilometers in lines and around 60,000 passengers per day. The main objective of the Asir project is the promotion of innovation in the high power fast charging of vehicles. Many cities and partners are participating in the project that has a, a budget of 23 million of euros. Partners from different countries and between them we have laboratories, bus producers, makers, charging companies and cities. The result of the project will help reduce costs and will enable to the standardization of infrastructure elements. For TMB, the Azure project is the continuation and consequence of the Zeus project and the operating currencies detected thanks to this project in the charging processes of electrical vehicles. And the project is going to help to solve them. Poor air quality and traffic congestion are pressing challenges faced by many cities today. Electrification of urban transport is considered a great solution to make our streets healthier, less noisy and more livable. However, while more and more cities are realising their potential, electric vehicles are often introduced in small numbers. Because charging solutions for electric vehicles are not standardised yet, the needed infrastructure to integrate them in transport networks can be very costly. Now, the Assured project aims to enable the large-scale deployment of electric fleets in cities. Assured will develop innovative solutions that will support standardisation and interoperability of electric vehicles and optimise fleet operation and charging strategies. During the project, electric buses, trucks and vans will test different types of charging solutions. Assured solutions will first be tested in controlled conditions and later operated in real cities. When interoperability is achieved, operators can mix and match different brands of vehicles and chargers and integrate them in high-power charging infrastructure. By supporting the uptake of large fleets of electric vehicles, Assured will help make cities cleaner, greener and healthier, helping Europe become a better place to live. Now we are going to hear from our partner IDIADA about the interoperability test carried out within Assured. Hello, my name is Klaus Gersting. I'm senior manager within the powertrain department responsible for e-mobility solutions. The main goal of the Assured project is to ensure the interoperability of super-fast charging solutions. For this purpose, IDIADA has led the activities of the validation of these charging interfaces together with the reference partners of the industry. Thanks to the short project, IDIADA was able 
to set up a dedicated facility to test all these charging systems and electric vehicles. And uh, these solutions are already available as a service for the industry. I am pleased to put the focus on Assured Buses. Now, Mario Canet, Head of New Development at TMB, introduces us to the video. Welcome to Triangle uh, TMB. This is one of the four depots uh, in Barcelona and has a capacity for 315 vehicles. We, in this moment, we are operating 30 electric ones and we will receive 78 more uh, in next year. TMB participates in CU's project and in this moment realize that it will be a very important issue for the future to improve the communication between vehicle and chargers. For this reason, we are in Assure. TMB participate in the CEO's project and at that moment we realize that the communications between the charger and the vehicles were going to be one of the most important aspects to work on. And for this reason we are in a sure project. Here we have uh, Helios and ABB chargers that can indefinitely charge uh, all the vehicles of the project and others from TMB uh, as long as they charge under uh, Azure protocol, of course. Uh, in another side, we have a H16 route that cross Barcelona from one side to, uh, for the other. There are two charging stations with one megawatt of power in every one. In every charge station, we have two chargers from 500 kilowatts. Uh, one of these chargers is Gemma, uh, included in Azure project and these chargers can charge also all vehicles uh, in TMB fleet. Yeah, for Vidi Wilson Coach it's very important to be uh, part of the Azure project because we are a front runner in e-mobility for uh, the electric buses uh, already for five, six years now. Um, it's interesting to, to work together with our uh, partners and our comp competitors uh, to build up a standard for charging infra, uh, which can be used by the operators. Uh, this fits perfectly with our ambitions uh, when it comes to flexibility and innovation on, on electric bus on zero emission, uh, which we also uh, are messaging all around by uh, aiming for zero. Yeah, the added value from the video bus and goes for a short is, is our mileage and our experience uh, and our works when, which, we are, which we have done over the last years in our charging test center. Where we have a lot of charges from different suppliers in our charge center available. Uh, we are testing with them together in a cooperation uh, with the, in the end the, the, the goal to have a standard uh, protocol together with the short project. So I think this uh, contributes a lot to the, to the project. Uh, with the aim that we have a standard protocol in the end, which is tested also in uh, the different locations. Yeah, an example on which we are very proud of, of course, is the Eindhoven uh, project. And Eindhoven is our, our hometown of the VDO group, uh, where we are very active with uh, scaling up the fleet from 43 buses to up to 200 in the future. Um, and this fits very well to the Azure project because it's about standardization of the charge infra, but also about scaling up to entire fleets for zero emission operations. And in Eindhoven, this is really one of the, the, the projects which we started early, but is also now part of Assured to scale up to the, to the large fleet operations. Now, the project in Barcelona uh, is, is quite interesting for us. Uh, we're working there together with TMB, the operator of Barcelona City. Uh, we have brought our CTA electric bus uh, to Barcelona for testing uh, the vehicle on the charge infra of the customer itself. Uh, it works very well, so it is, uh, uh, shows very clearly that also the, the standardization and protocols are working uh, perfectly for, uh, for Europe. Uh, in this case, the charging infra was not built specifically for video bus and coach, but a standard bus from us works on the charge infra in, uh, in Barcelona, and that's, uh, that's affected the basis of uh, the Assured project. Yeah, the ultimate aim of the Assured project is, in fact, is a livable city, creating a livable city. Uh, we are looking for solutions where we have a cleaner and healthier city to live in. Uh, for passengers and residents uh, which are using also the public transport every day. Uh, in this way, with having standardization, we can upscale to larger fleets and we will have zero emission complete fleets in the cities. 
uh, with the end goal of course to have a cleaner city but it means also a livable city uh, for the future. Sustainable mobility is a key factor for the energy transition, which is why Irizarry Mobility is continuing to invest in turnkey electromobility solutions to be able to offer sustainable, efficient, accessible, safe and connected public transport. We have an electromobility plan dedicated to the production of zero emissions vehicles for urban uses, which operate on our own battery system. We also offer smart charging solutions and fleet management systems. All of these services use Irizarry Group technology, developed in collaboration with top-level technology centers. Our vehicle range includes 10, 12, 15 and 18 meter urban buses, as well as other electric vehicles serving the cities, such as our Irizar electric truck, all zero emissions. We are fully committed to sustainability and environment, and we therefore seek to reduce noise, pollutants and CO2 emissions to create green cities and improve the quality of life of citizens. We are involved in several large European projects for the future of electrification of cities and public passenger transport. One such project is Assured, which addresses the integration of electric commercial vehicles in the fast charging infrastructure. Interoperability plays a key role in today's public transport. For public transport operators, charging infrastructure standardization and interoperability are essential, as this results in greater safety, improves the total cost of ownership and simplicity. Through the Assure project, we have been able to ensure that our opportunity charging protocol is interoperable and that it follows the standards defined in this project. We achieved this through validation testing at the Ideada Lab and in Barcelona. It is roof-mounted pantograph technology, an articulated mechanism installed in the roof of the vehicle and a vault connected to the charger and located in a structure or adaptive pole. When the vehicle needs its batteries charging, the pantograph arm extends and establishes timely connections. The customer remains at the heart of our strategy. For this reason, with our customers, the Comunate de Aglomeración Peibas, we run tests prior to the consortium test on a fleet of 18 buses in real operation. Results have been positive. We made the interoperability objectives that we set for ourselves. From Irizar, we want to thank the European Commission's Horizon 2020 program for promoting this type of project. Active involvement in this project is definitely highly beneficial and enriching for us as it helps us exchange and understand firsthand the needs of our customers. Thank you very much to BDL, Bus and & Coach and Iriza to showcase our audience today how their buses have supported assured goals and vision. Of course, interoperability cannot be achieved without the right charging infrastructure. Now, I will give the floor to Jose Ariño, coordinator of new projects in our bus company, and to the partners Assured ABB, Heliox and Gema. Fast chargers in the depots. In our depot in this moment, there are two manufacturers, Eliox, with a fast charger of 300 kilowatts of maximum power in DC. Second is ABB with a fast charger of 300 kilowatts of maximum power in DC. And the system connection is the uh, Panto app.
in fast charger in Cecilia Street is Gemma with a 600 kilowatts of maximum power in DC. In this case, all chargers, uh, the charging system in compliance with ISO 15180. Possibility of uh, obtaining data with uh, monitoring and uh, control uh, with, according with uh, OCPP 1.6 extend uh, uh, TMB protocol. As a market leader in e-mobility solutions, ABB is heavily investing since many years in innovative solutions for charging. And interoperability is a core element of this. This is exactly aligned with the Azure project, which is trying to reduce overall total cost of ownership for bus operators to allow them to operate a fleet of chargers uh, with a fleet of buses independent of a brand. And with this, to enable a transition of the public transportation sector, but also the e-truck sector, to a less polluting, less noisy technology. As part of the Assured Interoperability 1.0 reference project, we have worked with a lot of experts from various stakeholders to facilitate this. We are very proud to be part of this uh, since many years. In Barcelona, TMB, to allow us to demo our equipment, our 450 kilowatt pump up charger. And we are very excited and proud to be part of that story together with the Azure ecosystem. ABB has a lot of experience in developing interoperable chargers. Uh, this is obviously core for us. And we have invested a lot of money and a lot of time over the last years. For example, into this innovation lab here in Delft, we can do all types of tests here, not just for punt up and punt down in the domain of bus charging, but also cable-based charging. So we are very committed to make interoperability work for the industry because this is core for the adoption. And Azure is obviously part of this story. The value of ABB in electromobility is actually major. As a market leader in this domain, we are obviously, since more than a decade, heavily, heavily driving and supporting the adoption of electric mobility. Not just the chargers, but actually also to enable a grid connection, local distribution, charging equipment itself, but also holistic solutions across the digital offering to make this charging facility run smooth. And at the same time, it's also very important to us as a company, as a value, because we are fully engaged to make a transition to a more sustainable and a more uh, low carbon world. Yes, I would like to reflect um, yeah, on a specific part of the work that we have done in the uh, Assure project. Uh, the Assure project is running now for more than three years. A lot of valuable work has been done. Uh, it has been done by forefronters in technology that are paving the way uh, for mass deployment of zero emission uh, transport in as well electric buses, electric trucks and adjacent areas. Um, part of this project is that we have several demonstrators in cities where we focus on the interoperability of the different charging uh, uh, couplers that we have. Uh, you know, we have a pentagraph up system, we have a pentagraph down system, we have connected systems. All these systems uh, need to have a good interoperability in order to ensure a strong mass deployment of zero emission transport in Europe. Mm, the project that we did in Barcelona, with many thanks to the city of Barcelona to giving us that opportunity and also supporting us in that, uh, we have did a very nice demonstration of a Bandegraaf up system in this case. Um, uh, the, the project was a success and, and the interoperability was proven. So with this I would also like to thank our colleagues and the other partners in the consortium, the bus OEMs and the truck OEMs, for making this all possible. And let's go ahead and make a lot of other successful demonstrations in the future and further. Thank you very much.
in the Charging Infrastructure Market, Gema is a key stakeholder, offering solutions to the market and always committed to interoperability. In a suit project, we participate designing two fast opportunity chargers of 600 kW, according to interoperability criteria defined in the project. On the one hand, we have been working in a work package for closing the gaps of the ISO 1518 looking for a common understanding on the open points. On the other hand, testing the interoperability of the solutions in IDEADA facilities with different bus manufacturers, and also testing the chargers under a real operation in a TMV line in Barcelona. Finally, we take part within a user case, developing and testing smart charging algorithms for an operation basis fleet. Regarding overnight chargers, we have a range of interoperable solutions from 20 kW up to 150 kW. There are different mechanical connections available, by host charging one or two buses at the same time, so charging one or two hoses, or by pantograph, where top-down pantograph or roof mounted one can be chosen. Regarding opportunity charging infrastructure, we offer solutions from 300 kW up to 600 kW. This equipment can be connected to low voltage or medium voltage and different mechanical approaches are available for the charges, an outdoor solution, within an existing building or in a container. In total, we have supplied more than 300 charging infrastructure in countries such as Spain, France, UK, Germany, Italy, Luxembourg or Switzerland. EMA is an experienced infrastructure provider with solutions for different operation needs. We have an integral knowledge of the necessary technologies, such as power electronics, ELC communications, grid connection and network quality. We are close to the customers in the different phases of the road to electromobility, in the thoughts of the requirements, in the deployment of the solutions and in the maintenance of the equipment, offering to the market different solutions delivering chargers or delivering a turnkey solution that includes installation and connection to medium voltage grid. Thank you so much to all of our partners sharing their solution and insights with us. We can see the immense collaboration going on in the Azure Consortium and it's great to see so many different stakeholders gathering around the table to together achieve the common goal of creating more sustainable and lifeable cities. Before I finish, I would like to summarize the conclusion what has been discussed today. The Azure Challenge has been met. Electric buses can be successfully charged regardless of the vehicle or brand of changer. From the project, the standards protocols have been defined and published and has helped to the official regulations. And of course, another thanks to our speakers, to, our par to the partners, and of course, to everyone who has been with us today and has been contributing to this great event. I encourage you to follow the results of the Azure project through its web website and social media. And of course, to see you soon in Barcelona. To close this event, I am pleased to pass the floor to Rosa Alarcón, President of TMB and Mobility Councillor of the Barcelona City Council. Buenos días. Gracias a todos por acompañarnos hoy en este acto para me conocer mejor la experiencia de Barcelona en el proyecto europeo Assured y también para saber más sobre el propósito y la finalidad de la propia iniciativa que en definitiva es buscar soluciones eficientes para la mejora ambiental de los autobuses urbanos. A TMB y a mí personalmente nos satisface haber acogido esta actividad porque se encuentra completamente alineada con nuestra misión y estrategia en el objetivo de integrar la investigación y la innovación en la consecución de un transporte público cada vez más limpio y respetuoso con el, con el medio ambiente. En este sentido, el proyecto SURET ha de permitirnos que esta innovación 
mejore los procesos de carga rápida de nuestros autobuses eléctricos, una parte importante de la apuesta de TMB por las energías verdes, utilizando una misma infraestructura para la diferente tipología de vehículos. El uso de estrategias innovadoras es una herramienta fundamental para avanzar en el compromiso de reducir la contaminación e impulsar una movilidad sostenible y eficiente. Espero, por tanto, que la jornada haya sido provechosa y ayude a difundir los avances y conocimientos logrados gracias a la sinergia de todos los participantes. A todos ellos, especialmente a las empresas fabricantes de los vehículos eléctricos y a la UITP, la Unión Internacional del Transporte Público, que lidera el proyecto SURED, agradeceros vuestro apoyo constante y decidido en el impulso y desarrollo de la iniciativa, de esta y también de muchas otras que se están llevando a cabo. Muchas gracias y esperamos poder seguir avanzando de la mano de la innovación y de la colaboración de empresas, organizaciones e instituciones en el camino de la vanguardia ambiental y con el objetivo de conseguir un transporte público que contribuya a mejorar la calidad del aire de nuestras ciudades.